Hi everyone! If you have a cell phone, which you most likely do, or a camera, then you've most likely heard of HDR or High Dynamic Range. In this video, we discuss what dynamic range is and what it means to have an image that has HDR. Whenever you have an image, you always have bright areas and dark areas. Dynamic range is a ratio between the maximum and minimum light intensities which correspond to blacks and whites. If you think about what you can actually see with your bare eyes, you never actually encounter true black or true white in the real world. Instead, what you see is different levels of light intensity and subject reflections. Now, dynamic range becomes extremely complicated when we talk about image capture devices. But in the simplest of explanations, one should always know that each capture device, whether it's a camera, a scanner, or a display device like a monitor, has its own dynamic range, which becomes a little bit of a limiting factor in terms of what it can capture or display. Now, going back to the photo, Dynamic range effectively becomes a description of contrast ratio in your image. And video also applies here because remember, motion picture is just a series of single photos mated together. So in graphical terms, dynamic range can be presented as shades of black and white. So a photo with low dynamic range will have less of those different shades between the brightest whites and darkest blacks. And inversely, a photo with high dynamic range will have a lot more different shades of gray between the brightest whites and darkest blacks. We can also call this an HDR photo. Whenever you put your camera into HDR mode, all it's doing is simply taking a number of photos at different exposure levels. So a darker image, a brighter picture, and one in the middle. It then combines the images and in doing that, you get a photo where you have tons of shadow detail as well as tons of detail in the highlights which just wouldn't be possible had you taken a normal picture. Where most cameras begin to struggle with dynamic range is when you have something that is brightly lit with something that is lowly lit in the same scene, like this shot of a small teddy bear. As you can see, the camera has struggled with the dynamic range here because a lot of the shadow detail in the bear is turned into complete black, but we already know that it's not possible to have complete black in real life. So the camera's dynamic range has limited it from being able to capture the rest of the remaining light intensities in those shadows. An HDR shot of the same teddy bear would look like this. And you can easily see that there are more light intensities being represented in the image. We have a lot more stages before we actually get to the brightest whites and darkest blacks, which also means we have more dynamic range in the HDR shot. As you'd expect, HDR is a great feature and we can now enjoy this technology in our gaming systems and even television shows. The ability to have all that detail and actually be able to represent it accordingly is no small wonder. However, always remember that even though HDR is available, the medium through which you're displaying the media still has a major contributing factor as to how much dynamic range you'll be able to actually see. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video was helpful to you. Leave a like or a comment and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.